friends welcome back to my channel now a little while ago somebody asked me to do a video where I talk about my favorite colors to use in Bloxburg so I thought I'd do that today I'll show you guys my favorite colors and like my most used colors that I use here in Bloxburg now it does kind of look like I have every single color in the color palette here I promise I don't there is a lot of colors in the color palette and this is like maybe like a third of the colors or something there's 32 colors here and there is like I don't know how many colours are in the colour palette but yeah so these are all like the colours I use a lot and I'm going to go through them, talk about what I kind of use the colours for, give you guys the names of them because sometimes I feel like my speed builds are a little bit too fast for you guys to be able to read the names of the colours as I'm colouring things so it'd be nice to go through and kind of talk about each one and what I kind of use them for and things like that. I think how I'm going to do it is I'm going to head into build mode because then I'm going to keep the daylight as well and I can zoom in, I'll just get rid of these lines and I'll just kind of move my weight down and talk about each colours. I've done them kind of like in sections so we've got like greys, yellows, pinks, reds and all that kind of thing. So yeah that's kind of what I'm going to do today and we will start over here with the greys and whites and kind of things. So the first three colours that we have kind of go together. So the first colour is lily white and then we have light stone grey and then we have pearl. And these are kind of like my go to white colours in houses. I use them for like different colour themes so like lily white is very like standard kind of colour it does it does have like a hint of like yellow to it it's a little bit warmer than some of the other whites but it's a very like standard white that I'd go for light stone grey I use in kind of warm tone houses so like the starter house I did that was very like yellowy tone I used that in it and then the third one pearl I use for like cooler tone houses because it does have like a hint of blue to it it's like a cooler white than the other colours. I sound so fancy talking about the different shades of white but yeah that's kind of like where I use those colours. The next colour which is this third colour here this is ghost grey which is just a super nice light coloured grey that I like to use. I can't really think what I use it on I just use it kind of randomly within houses but it's a really pretty colour. Moving along this colour here is oyster which is a really nice warm tone grey. I used to use this a lot in walls. I've used this in the wall in my um, blue family home I used it a lot it's just a really nice colour for like a signature wall with then like the whites and stuff I really do love this colour and then the next colour is quill grey which I do sometimes use as a white but it's just another nice kind of slightly warm tone grey it is very similar in colour to the light stone grey over here but yeah they're both super nice colours and I kind of use both of these a lot. Next we have my all time favourite grey which is fossil I literally use fossil all of the time I love it on like kitchen cabinets and then just as like wood it's just a very pretty colour again I use it on the walls as well for like a signature colour wall it's just a really pretty colour for like a cool toned house the next two colours kind of go together so these two colours are smoky grey and then dark stone grey and they're both just very like nice dark greys to use again they're very like different tones so this one's a little bit cooler and this one's a little bit warmer I think <laughs> looking at it I can't really tell but they're both really nice I like this in like a blue toned house and this is like more warmer toned house the next colour is just black. I prefer the colour black over the really black colour because I just feel like it's a little bit more natural. The really black colour is literally like solid black, like space colour, like the sky at night. I don't know. It's like really, really dark. And I feel like this is just a little bit more natural. It's got a nice blue tone to it. It's just quite a pretty colour. After that, we have Hurricane Grey, which is a really nice grey colour. I use this a lot on wooden flooring. It's a really nice floor for that. And I also use it on like a carpet floor. Super pretty colour. I used to use this an awful lot on my houses before, like some of the older houses, like the, the Blue Family Home again. I think this is on all of the flooring in that house. And it's just a really, really nice colour. After that is probably one of my favourite colours in the game. This is linen, which I literally use on everything at the moment. I use it on lighting. I use it Wooden floors look beautiful in linen. I use it on kitchen counters, like the countertop looks really nice in linen. I basically use this in every single house. I can't think of a video where I probably didn't use linen, maybe the Barbie's dream house, but then again, when I renovated it, I definitely use this colour. After this is another colour that I really, really love. This is Nougat or Nougat. I don't know, you guys always like laugh at how I say it. I don't know how it's pronounced, like Nougat or something, but yeah, that's that colour. I use this a lot on candles for like the flame. Now that the lighting's changed in game, it looks really nice. It gives a really, really nice warm tone to the house. It's just super pretty. I like this colour a lot. And then after this is another favourite. I feel like these are like my three go-to colours. This is Cashmere, which I use a lot on like door handles. I use it on like the, the bar on 
curtains i'm not really call, sure what that's called like curtain pull i use it a lot on there just for kind of like little metal features it's a really nice kind of goldy color so i really really love this color next we have some brighter colors i use these a lot on like flowers and they look super pretty together these three colors these three colors are bright orange deep orange which is this really gorgeous like yellowy orange it's very like a mix between these two I really love this on like tulips it looks super pretty and then the final one is daisy yellow which I use on so many things I used to use this all the time on flowers inside houses like if I'm doing a warm toned house I'd use this on like the rose and it looks really really pretty I definitely love this color it's really nice in a warm toned house for like a signature chair or something to paint it this color it's super super pretty after this we have a couple of like uh, pastel kind of greens we have artichoke and then we have sand green which are very like mute they're not pastel but they're like muted greens and they're really really pretty in the house I love artichoke for like a signature wall again and this is just a really really nice green I don't really use green too often but if I were to use a green I'd definitely use these two and then the next two greens here which are dark green and sea green are the colors that I use when I'm recoloring grasses to do that kind of striped texture these are the two I go for moving on next we have some blues I have three blues here that are super pretty again they're very like muted -y, kind of more pastel -y colors the first one is cadet blue then we have sand blue which is just this gorgeous kind of darker blue I really love this color and then finally we have fog which is a very like light pastel blue which is really nice on walls as well after that I've got some pink colors these are like my go-to pinks I definitely prefer the pastel kind of muted pinks to the brighter pinks I know I use the bright pinks a lot in my like branding on my channel and I used it in my Barbie's dream house but actually in game these are like my go-to these pinks are mauve which I use a lot again on flowers this is a really pretty flower color I really love the combination at the moment of doing pink yellow orange and red flowers together so this is the color I use with those three colors I talked about earlier then we have sunrise which is like a deeper version of mauve and it's really really pretty and then the final one we have is light reddish violet again a super pretty like pastel pink I really love this color I haven't got to use it too much yet I kind of use it on like rugs and stuff every now and then but is a really really nice color then we're moving on to some more like ready tones I really love these two for like plant pots at the moment to get more like a natural kind of plant pot look because these are like the standard color of like plant pots that you buy in a store and I'm really really digging that vibe at the moment so these two are light ready oh wait wrong color I've already read that one this one is terracotta and this one is dusty rose and they're just super pretty colors and then this color here is crimson this is like my go-to red color because I feel like it's a little bit more natural than the brighter ones and again I absolutely love this on flowers and like a tulip or like the roses this looks really really nice and then the final two colors are just some like standard brown colors that I use mostly I use these outdoors for like trees or like fences and stuff like that or I use them for like the if I'm doing like a flower bed for like the ground underneath where I use like grass and then paint it brown to kind of make it look a bit like dirt I use them for that and these two colors are reddish brown and normal brown this is just called brown I don't it's not called normal brown I don't know why I said that but yeah it's got a little bit dark in game since I started now we've come out of build mode but they're all the colors that I use a lot hopefully it kind of gives you guys some ideas of colors that you might want to use if you've not used some of these colors before I don't know it was just a fun little video to do to kind of show you guys some of the colors I use but please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video comment down below with any future video ideas and as always guys a huge thank you for watching bye guys Mwah.